This is the all new 2017 Ford Super Duty, the toughest, smartest, most capable Super Duty that we've ever produced. In front behind me here is a, a white platinum F450, so the top of the line in terms of that capability message. It will tow more than ever before. And uh, just a couple of uh, the key points from an exterior standpoint, we have an all new body made of uh, high strength military grade aluminum alloy. And from a front grille perspective, the design is very unique. We've improved the differentiation across all series with a very aggressive stance. Uh, this truck has our high series lighting package with LED signature surrounds, LED quad uh, uh, lamps, as well as LED tail lights. So a very distinctive look for the exterior. We have an entirely new wheel lineup okay. that accentuates across all series. Um, so it's a, a very exciting from an exterior perspective. Looks all new. How does it compare to the F-150? Well, uh, similar construction. Similar construction. They're both made of high strength military grade aluminum alloy, the same alloy that's produced in several uh, military vehicles. Um, uh, the, the, the construction of the cab is very similar, but there's unique aspects inside the truck because it's a heavy duty customer. It's a little different customer yeah. than a light duty customer. Is there more strength built into the bed or the cab compared to the light duty trucks? Yes, there is because again, the heavy duty customer expects higher payloads. So as a result, the bed of the um, aluminum box and body is 14% thicker than the F-150 version, again, to support that heavier payload. So the weight savings is a very critical story to the all-new Super Duty. With the lightweight being the, the high-strength military-grade aluminum alloy, that allows us to save up to 350 pounds that can be reinvested into larger components that can ultimately give this customer more towing and more payload. Can you talk about um, any of the numbers yet? The towing, payload, all those? No, we won't be discussing numbers for some time, but I will tell you that this will be the most capable Super Duty ever, so it will be able to tow and haul more than ever before. Um, how about the, the engine lineup? So the engine lineup is similar today in that we have three powertrain combinations, a 6.2 liter gas engine, and we've actually introducing a new six-speed torque shift G transmission for the work truck buyer. That there will also be a 6.2 gas engine with the six-speed torque shift transmission. Okay. There'll also be a 6.8 liter V10 engine with the six-speed transmission for our chassis cab customers. Okay. And of course, we'll have our uh, tried and true 6.7 liter power stroke diesel along with the six-speed transmission as well. No, no EcoBoost motor in this? Correct. We've been very pleased with the performance of the powertrain lineup. As a reminder, we are introducing the new Torque Shift G transmission for the F-250 gas work truck customer. Okay. Uh, the Super Duty will go on sale in the fall of 2016. My name is Jennifer Shaw and I'm the Driver Assistance Electronics Supervisor at Ford. So Jennifer, the 2017 Super Duty has up to seven cameras, is that right? That's correct. Uh, can you go over that for us, please? Sure, absolutely. We'll start in the front. The first camera is in the grill. Okay, let's and, go see that. Okay, great. It's, um, it's primarily used to extend the driver's vision of what's in front of them. It has a really neat washer feature that will pop out and wash the camera whenever it gets dirty. Um, and you can get a wide angle view with this camera, so you can really see around corners and all kinds of other cool things. Okay. Um, so then we'll go to the side. Um, as we're walking by, there is a camera up in the, wind, uh, in the windshield by the rear view mirror there. And that's a camera that the driver will never actually see an image from, but it's using um, machine vision to look at the lines on the road and it's used for our lane departure warning system. Okay. So then we have our camera right here, one in, on each side under the mirrors here. And this is used for both the 360 degree camera system and for our trailer reverse guidance, which is an all new feature for the Super Duty. Okay. Then as we walk back, if you look up to the center high mounted stop lamp, you will see another camera there, which would make it camera number five. 
That camera is used to look into the bed of the truck and it's really great for um, hitching a fifth wheeler gooseneck trailer. I'm pretty sure they used it to hitch up this trailer actually. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, so then camera number six is the camera in the tailgate. This is your standard rear view camera. It has um, dynamic guidelines. It has a zoom feature to help you hitch up a conventional trailer. Okay. And then camera number seven is actually all the way back at the end of the trailer. That's our um, remote trailer camera. And this is a camera that you would buy, you know, as an option from the factory, but you'll get a kit with it and you will mount the camera onto the back of your trailer. So you can see one is up there. Okay. Comes with the camera, the bracket, and the wiring, and a connector so that you're fully equipped to set this thing up. It's fully integrated into the infotainment system, so with the touch of a button on the touch screen, you can access that camera, as well as all of the other camera features that we talked about. Well, for starters, it's an all new cab, so all three of the cabs, the regular cab, super cab, and crew cab are all brand new, and they're all longer, which gives this customer more storage, more seating room. The heavy duty truck customers are very interested in that. Um, the seats are brand new. The entire instrument panel uh, is, is all new mm -hmm. and very clever design here with the cup holders that allows for, for storage as well as uh, from, goes from two to four cup holders. Um, of course, we have we the have, panoramic sunroof here. We have the pan panoramic sunroof that has been very, uh, uh, very well received on F-150. Uh, another new feature on the new cab is we've moved the upfitter switches that run electrical equipment like additional lights or snow plows from the uh, lower position on the dash. It's a much more accept, uh, uh, accessible position. Mm -hmm. We've also increased the number of switches from four to six with more amperage. So it gives the customer more productivity. Great. And so the dash is all new. So the dash is all new. And one interesting design difference from F-150 mm -hmm. is the dual sided glove box that allows for opening uh, both the lower portion as well as additional storage here. Uh, again, super duty and heavy duty customers really value storage. So that's a very smart design. Now you have your trailer brake controller here, your four wheel drive and uh, exhaust brake still, correct? Yes, here is the switch for the exhaust brake that's new and improved with an on-off switch in automatic mode. Gives the customer more control going down the hill. But we've also designed a very clever underseat storage system that is very easy to operate with a single person from either side, pulls out, and then there's a mechanical locking mechanism in place. And there is also a divider if you wanted to there you go. Divider that allows you to separate uh, storage. And it's also lockable from either portion of the seat by simply lowering the seat. And there's a keyhole at the hinge of the seat. You can also lower this one uh, to allow for lockable storage. The seats are brand new, uh, multi-comfort seat design. Again, very uh, similar to the um, new design on F-150 that have been extremely well received. Mm -hmm. And there's a camera behind the mirror. That's the seventh one, correct? For so the... That is the camera that detects lane departure warning. Mm -hmm. So as that activates, you'll get a, a signal in the screen and you also get a vibration in the steering wheel that tells you you're uh, leaving the lane. And so what are some of the other technologies, uh, like adaptive cruise, is that all available as, as in here as well? Yes, yes, so adaptive cruise control with collision mitigation allows you to set the speed and the distance that you want to travel safely from the vehicle in front of you and it automatically slows the truck down if you get within that range. One other thing I'd like to mention is, again, we talk about Super Duty being the ultimate trailering machine. We now have um, two exciting new segment exclusives, the uh, trailer TPMS, which allows for not only the, tire, the, the truck to detect when the, tri the tire pressure is low, but it can also detect low tire pressure on the trailer. And another example of our towing leadership is uh, Bliss, blind spot information system that also detects blind spot on the side of a large trailer. 
again, these customers tow quite a bit with very large loads and that provides that extra safety and security of being able to see if uh, uh, someone is coming into your blind spot, both for the truck and the trailer. Holy cow, it's a 2017 Ford Super Duty. And man, is it tall. Can you even see in the bed? Well, I, I can. I can't. I, can. I know I can't reach so, over. So Ford just introduced the 2017 Super Duty, all new aluminum. Aluminum cab, aluminum sheet metal, yes. Every, everywhere, right? Yes, everybody everywhere. with the frame, frame still. Everywhere Ice aluminum. Still. Um, so what are your initial thoughts about this? My initial thoughts is it's tall. It's like every everything in the four-wheel drive has a lift kit, even the 250. You can't okay. hardly see over the bed, and I'm 5'8". 